There was a meat sale, cordon bleu, chicken parm, marinated beef, half chicken, chicken, bacon, and mushroom, and loin chop. Cucumber. So it is already 4.30 and I obviously have not uploaded the video yet. I usually end at 4.30, but it's just been a very lazy, relaxed day. All I have is the footage you saw before. So I'm making dinner. I'm probably not gonna like film it just because it's a lot of work, um, but I'm making marinated beef. So it had it's perforated. It's gone through that machine that you know, stabs it. It's marinated in, what did he say, barbecue sauce and pineapple. I definitely smell the pineapple, like a lot. I'm so excited. When I was at work today, I ran into my grandfather. He works for like the driving company or the bus company for this retirement home and lo and behold, I see him. So I guess I am filming. Oh wait, there's the camera. <laughs> so it's day 10. I'm not sure if it's day 10 for you guys. It might be day nine. I, I can't remember if I started the videos a day late or if I started the same day. I don't remember, but whatever. If it's day 10, it's day 10, it's day 10 here. I just want to say that I have not been tempted at all. I'm very happy about that. When I gave up heavy metal, not once did I think that this was for my good mental state. I did it for God, because he has been putting on my heart that I need to get rid of this, and I'm finding every excuse in the book of why I shouldn't. A part of me does feel like Judas Priest wasn't a band that needed to go, but in reality, yes, it needed to go. For various reasons. One, the title. Two, a lot of their songs are ultra over-the-top sexual. I'm not going to get into why or which ones are the most sexual, but I will say this. I think it was 85. I'm going to say 85 because it's right in the middle. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this. I don't necessarily agree with this because I felt that way for 12 years, so I, this is only day 10, not year 10. Tipper Gore, the wife of Al Gore, she was the one that put the parental guidance on the front of every single album that had any sort of language, violence, sex. She made a list called Filthy 15. Number one is Judas Priest. I am not gonna say the title because the title is very self-explanatory, if you want to look it up yourself, you can. Not only is the song ultra-sexual, but there's also violence. Basically saying in the song, do this at gunpoint. But he did say, oh no, I wrote that song because it's supposed to be a fun song. I don't even want to be sitting at a bowl of candy and being told to eat every piece with a gun to my head. That kind of gives me a reason that maybe I need to let them go as well. I do want to quickly add that just because I use Tipper Gore as an example to give up Judas Priest does not mean that I am in any way agreeing with what she did. It's not that hard. It doesn't take that many brain cells to figure out if an album is inappropriate. Flip it over. Usually the titles of the songs tell you if it's inappropriate. I don't need to be hearing about sexual violence. At least one. At least one song on every album they have is a sexual song. Their, their new album out doesn't have any sex in their album, but I haven't listened to them all because I gave them up. That's a good reason to let them go. But I do miss them because they did have talent. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? I have an addiction because someone has talent. But I have not been tempted at all, and I gave up my addiction for God. God has not really blessed me yet, and I'm not saying that I'm waiting like, okay, bring it. No, 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 that, that's not going through my mind. What's going through my mind is when it comes, it's going to be when I am ready for it. 
because right now my place is a mess so it can't be a guy and i already have quite a bit of money in my bank so maybe it's not money maybe it's something i prayed for like my family like maybe my dad will get better i don't know my mom will get better something that i've dreamed about Maybe I'll move to Oklahoma. We don't know what God has in store for me, but whatever it is, I'm probably not ready for it yet. It's only been 10 days. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is, it is five o'clock and I need to end this. I love you guys. You guys have a good rest of your night. I'm gonna finish my dinner. Bye.